wonderful subscribers and if you are new to this channel then welcome I'm going to talk about something that uh, a lot of students ask questions about so if you're familiar with our strategies you know that we do recommend using fake research in writing task 2 to support your ideas there are a few reasons for this firstly um, in order to get a high score, guys, for task, you need to have strong ideas with very specific and clear support. Secondly, some students worry that somehow this is wrong, that they'll lose points for making stuff up. Guys, no, you won't. There is nothing in the scoring system that detracts because of this, okay? The examiners know, IELTS knows, that you don't have access to a computer or a newspaper or a book, okay? so. Guys, there's nothing wrong with using fake research. However, there are ways to use it correctly. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about that today. Now, before I get into this, guys, let me tell you that if you can think of a real example or detail from your life, your country, your culture, your city, from something you heard on the news, something you read in the newspaper, something you heard on a podcast. All of these things are real. All of these things you can use to support your reasons in the body paragraphs in writing task two. That is your go-to. That is your first choice. If, however, you're stuck and you can't think of any specific support, that's when you have to be creative and make something up. However, Talking about Harvard and Stanford saying whatever from these universities and using fake research, that's not always applicable or appropriate to the topic. So I'm gonna give you some options and examples today, all right? So, for instance, if the topic is about obesity and fast food, then you could say that uh, the WHO, the World Health Organization, released some statistics at some point that said whatever, okay? Remember guys, when you're talking about this fake surveys, fake whatever news stories, you do have to make them specific. So try and include numbers if you can, right? So the WHO said that 80% of the world survives on less than uh, $2 a day to, uh, to feed their families. That's kind of a high number, but it's a good example nevertheless. So um, you could also, for like the topic of health, food, um, you could use uh, fake surveys or fake statistics from the Department of Health, the US Department of Health, the Indian Department of Health, what have you, okay? That is more specific and it directly connects to the topic than just saying Harvard and Stanford all the time, all right? Now, if you're talking about um, athletics, sports training, nature versus nurture, if we're born with talent or not. You could use uh, something from the Olympic Committee. You could use something from FIFA if you're talking about soccer. Um, Think of a recognized institution or organization that connects to this topic and you could use some fake numbers from them, all right? The last example, what if you're asked about the economy or household budgets? You could use, you could say something like, the, Uno the New York Times conducted a survey of 2,000 households and found that 90% of low income, 40% uh, of those in the low income bracket did whatever. So. Choose an organization, a recognized name that connects to the topic so it's appropriate, right? So it's logical and then make up numbers that are also nevertheless believable even though you make them up. So guys, this is my last tip to you. If you do have to be creative because you can't think of anything else, make sure that your example and the details are believable, okay? So that's the last tip. So. Long story short, yes, you can use fake research, fake surveys, fake numbers, but one, make sure that it's logical and believable and possible, and two, make sure they're from an organization that directly connects to the topic. Okay, guys, this strategy takes practice, all right? So bring this advice into your own IELTS practice and get going. Start being creative. Think of fantastic examples that will really impress the examiner and raise that task score. 
If you want all of the ways you can impress the examiner in writing task one, task two, speaking, and do well on all parts of the IELTS exam, then check out our course, The Three Keys IELTS Success System. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S, see the results our students are getting, and you can start studying with us today. So if I don't see you in there, at least I will see you in the next video. That's all for me today. Enjoy the rest of your day and your week. And I'll see you next time.